Hey folks, welcome to Beyond the Range. I'm here with a bunch of great shooters. Got John McClain down on the end there, JJ Ricaza, the good looking one on the second on the right. On the right. Athena Lee and Eric Raffel, of course, uh, with me. And we're gonna be talking to you a little bit about what we have going on this year. So um, guys, it's a world shoot year. What's different? What are, you, what are you doing this year? What are you shooting? How are you competing? Taking him down. <laughs> oh, oh him? that's a good call. Him? Straightforward. One no. shot, all right. No. That's it, done. No, just got to work at it. We got to work on deficiencies that we had last year and uh, try to get better from it because uh, it's a big year. Like you said, we don't have much time. And sometimes you think six months is a lot. It's not. We're running out of time. Yeah. So who do you think are your biggest competition this year? Well, I got the two guys in production. We got JJ and I got Ben Stoyer. So yeah. in production, those guys, uh, they rock. But it's gonna be uh, tough, for sure, 100%. Yeah. You don't have to fluff my ego or anything like that, dude. You can tell the truth. You're gonna burn it down. Because I know you'll be here and you're gonna try to kick my butt anyhow. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which I know. I hope you're jet lagged that day. You know what? It's, it's gonna be more fun for me to watch actually open division. Yeah, it's, me too. Uh, That's right. You know, yeah. Moving to another division and think about those guys. Everybody's yeah. gonna be going after that. Exactly. Everybody's gonna be chasing that. I just wish I can see them. You know, like the last day they shoot the half, the second half day format yeah. so we can go there we production shooter we done yeah. production we're just like normal shooters and we just go in the main the event right and we could yeah. exactly see the main event as you said yeah so john are you shooting the world shoot are you doing the world shoot? i will not be doing the okay. world shoot i'm actually doing mostly uh i'm gonna mostly focus on three guns yep three shoot, guns so, so you're a three gun nation or i signed up for the semi-pro tour i got the uh, western regionals here in las vegas so yep. i'll be shooting in uh may yeah so you'll be in tulsa then a yep. lot yeah there's what three or four matches in tulsa and are you are you doing that too athena are you doing three gun no, world shoot okay yeah yeah my my i don't know my quandary is focus on world shooter, jump back into three gun. I think probably world shoot. So I think with the world shoot season coming on, then that, that's probably just, you know, that, that comes only once every what three years, four years. So um, I think while the opportunity's here, probably focus on that. If, if I could, I'd, I'd love to go, but I, I really just kind of committed to sticking to three gun this year. Yeah. And you guys get going. So you have to especially focus on the, on the world shoot because it's here in the U.S. That's right. Yeah. So, Speaking of focusing on it, you're going to train differently. You said you were going to tell us your training secrets. On camera. You crazy? In this episode. It's not a single change. So, like this right what here. are they? No secrets. What are they, no man? The, hey, God. give, the, give it all okay. out. You can, you have to say. I'll it. do a marathon. No, you have. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say you're on camera. You have to say. It. Oh man. <laughs> one, one secret. Give us one secret, man. Shoot a lot. I'll probably rise up the number of rounds what I used to shoot. That's which is sure. which is how much? I'm gonna rise up probably to 200, 250,000 this year. Really? Yeah. Really? Uh, well, Did I'm you fine. hear that? 250,000 rounds. That's why he's on Team Arm Score. Seven years I've been shooting. Is that why we have a shortage? This year I'm gonna no rip it up to about 15,000 hey, rounds. That's why we can't get our ammo. <laughs> hey, he's shooting it all. There's a shortage. <laughs> and not only that, he has the secret load that we match don't get. Ammo that we don't the know match about. ammo is secret, super secret. He gives it to me on the last load. day. Hey, can you take my match ammo? What's the difference? Oh, it's just lighter. <laughs> Dude, man. What? <laughs> so should we, it's, we it's tell them we want the Eric load? Yeah, we need the that's that's exactly it's called the Eric special load. But they they won't tell us they won't tell us what the load is. And I said I don't care what the load is. I just want the load. Exactly. Because it's Eric's load and it's you gonna guys be awesome. In the secret of Hamsko, yet yeah, I was uh, the first in there, so you have to wait a few more years and then you get to it. That's true. Oh, okay. We so have to pay our dues. You gotta work your way to it. Yeah. So two hundred and fifty thousand rounds, more matches. A lot more probably. matches. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably come several times in the U.S. just to yep. test a little bit. I would call it uh, as a market <laughs> test the market how yep. it goes. Yep. Uh, but yeah, I have to have to a few big matches in Europe actually. Yeah. Uh, we we shoot in Europe two big events. One is in Germany and one is in Czech Republic. Okay. The one in Germany is about uh, 20 stages in two days, wow. mm. but really complicated. A lot of right. movers and moving plates, uh, double swingers, stuff like crazy, really crazy. Yeah. The other one in Czech Republic is about 30 stages. Uh, about 650 rounds. Wow. You shot in three half day formats, so 10 stages in the half day format. And that that match is now full. It's full in two days. Wow. So, I mean, you registered awesome. the thing in two days, it's yep. booked. And it's going to be 750 competitors at that match. Wow. That's quite a big one. I've heard a lot about really that. Really happy match. for you, dude. Really, really happy. Come what about over. you? Come over with me. Are you going to shoot a bunch of matches or what, man? No, I'm very limited to shooting what matches I got to shoot this year. Um, I think I have a whopping four. Yeah. Prior to the world shoot, right now you have a, you have a baby now. So uh, welcome to the working world. I also work 
full time, yeah, <laughs> so I can't just go out there and shoot 250,000. Well, working? That's what you're saying. Well, you work differently than everyone else. <laughs> People, I have bosses, and you are your own boss. Maybe one day when I'm as cool as uh, Mr. Eric Guafel. <laughs> How does one become as cool as Eric Guafel? It doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Good answer, dude. That's great. And Athena, what are you going to do? Well, I unfortunately, I do have a job, yep. a regular job outside, yep. just yep. on the street. And just like JJ, I'm just going to have to be smart with managing my time, yeah. with practicing and yeah. you know, throwing dry fire in there, shooting matches, and still not get fired in between. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. Right. My problem is I work for me, so right. if I don't work for me enough, I don't make enough money to pay the bills, right. and then I fire me, and if but I you fire me, I can't pay the bills, but right. I could rehire myself. I guess I could probably give myself Mike, a lot of extra vacation. They just increased welfare. You know, I'm, but I'm, you know, I'm teaching though. You're, you're teaching full time. Yes. And you get to shoot all the time because you teach full time, right? I, that's what everybody thinks. Uh, yeah, exactly. You teach, you're not shooting. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what everyone thinks, but unfortunately not. I get to practice once a week, and I'm going to try to go to uh, about two to three times a week, yeah. getting close to the world shooting and the nationals. But um, you know, with time being that I work from nine to five. You got you're you're fighting against the sunset, and then yeah. you know you got only a limited amount of time, and you you find yourself racing through your practice instead of um, um, quality time. And all I that agree. Stuff. So it's kind of you got to like I said, it's a juggle balance. We all have our own little battles. He's as busy as can be. We make yeah. fun of him and all that, but yeah. man, he puts in all the work. That's no, I agree, man. I, I agree. That's then that's why he's the best in the world. Yeah. You know. I agree, absolutely. Until you smoke his butt and at the world. The best shoot. part about it is that we we have this support from Arm Score and all our sponsorships in Rock Island. It makes it it makes it easier the, the, to have those resources and um, and all that. Yeah. So it's, it I, takes I, a really big financial burden off. Yep, of I could not do what I do if I had to uh, to, to didn't have the ammo sure. support. And sure. literally, if, even if someone gave me all, if I'd have to load everything that I shoot in practice. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a lot of time that it takes just to, just to get all your loading powders right. Yeah. What powder goes best and how much and which yep. projectile. What are you shooting most of? Are you shooting most 9mm or 40 or what are you shooting? This year I'll be yeah, predominantly shooting, uh, uh, I just got a brand new Rock Island uh, 9mm yep. on the TCM frame. Yep. And the gun has been running flawless for me. I've, I've already put like 3,000 rounds through yeah. it yep. since I got it about three months ago. And, right. I uh, haven't had a single. Yeah, single we shot problem. together last weekend in yep. Mesh. I, saw, I got to see the gun working. It's, yeah, it's good? Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't shot the high our high cap 9 yet. I just got my high cap 40 build by Arnell. And same same thing. I just taught a class with it and shot a couple of matches, and I, I love it so far. You know, tweak some springs, and uh, I think I'm going to shoot standard this year. So I think that's what I'm going to probably yeah. focus on the most. That's I'm not awesome. Sure. Yeah, and the nine millimeter shoot really flat and really consistent. I mean, it's, it's a really fun gun to shoot, and I'm having yeah. a blast with it. I'm, I'm really excited to run it out in the three gun nation world. So. So um, three gun, are you shooting 55 grain or 62 grain, uh, 223? Uh, I, I shoot the 62 gram predominantly, yep. just because the long range distance, I like to have a little bit more weight it's behind the bullet. Yep. And yeah, so yeah, it's a little bit more point aim, point of impact, whereas 55, once the wind starts crossing over, now it can push yep. the bullet a little bit more and I have to aim a little harder. Yep. So, so then if you're shooting 250,000, are you shooting 250,000 of the special ammo or box? Of course. The all special ammo. No. Special gun too, because yeah. the all special is good. <laughs> are you shooting? Are you shooting box ammo? Or are you loading our components? Load, you're, you're loading all those. Yeah. Well, I, so you shoot all day and load all day. Well, when I come over in the US, I'm of course supporting with the ammo, which, yes. But um, on, the, on the on the European side, to get the ammunition is very complicated, so it's easier oh, for me to get the components, components got it. and load them all. Okay. Uh, yeah, much easier. And that's also the way to get the secret now. Yeah. We're still waiting on come that. Home, you'll see. My see. Uh, you all come on home. You can sit, stay there. I'll teach you all the secret. Though. Okay. Yeah, okay. I did. And you kicked me out. I so, don't remember so what you coming in. Is, is in order to get this, comp, this, this secret load of yours, we all have to fly to where you live. Well, you fly where I live. The first thing, the first test, we'll go to a restaurant, a French restaurant. If you pass that test, you're good. I'll give you a test. We're Filipino. We're okay. I know you. you well, this I've guy seen him eat. He's gonna, he's gonna burn my wallet. Just so what, what is? What is? <laughs> yeah, you can't afford to feed him, dude. No, Trust especially me. Especially in the French restaurant, it's gonna cost you know double, triple the price than here. Yeah. So. Double, triple the price, but one. And it's small. It's small. It's small portion. But it's this right. tall because it's all fancy architecturally built up blocks. So you gotta eat with fingers and stuff. I don't know. It's fancy. Yep. We don't do this stuff here. Yeah. So Athena, you shooting open this year? I am going back. Just to open. open this year. Um, and um, a little bit of three gun on the side, but 
once you know full season yep. gets in, um, just all open. When you shoot uh, three gun, you shoot uh, tac tac optics, tac ops, and you shoot tac, tac optics, optics also. Yep. Okay. I shoot limited, so keep it simple. What do you, so why, why do you shoot limited as opposed to tac optics? Because all of my all of my classes, all my defensive rifle, I'm running with a one power aim point, so I wanted to be able to run the same exact gear. Um, and a long time ago, when I started shooting a rifle, I'm very strong left eye dominant. So when I'm shooting a rifle, if I didn't, if there, there wasn't a very good uh, daytime bright variable optic back when I started. And so I mean, under under the little bit of stress of a match, you know, I'd bring the rifle up, and my left eye dominance, I'd have some, you know, bilateral vision going. And then you know, which is fine, you can cover your eye when you're shooting a rifle, but if you get a stage, you require a pistol, then I'm having to look over the, you yeah. know. So, it, it, so I just started with the, you know, a real bright aim point optic, and I could see that, and um, keeps it simple for me. That's okay. that's actually kind of the same. Uh, besides chasing you in production, because uh, you're the only person I've never ever <laughs> beaten, or really know. Forget no, about so, me for a while. But anyway, <laughs> one of the reasons why I went to production was because what is what I teach as a law enforcement officer. A production gun is what you go out there. It's what you teach. So people right. always, whenever I used to teach people, you say, hey, you shoot an open gun. How right. good are you with this? duty gun and then right. it was always like a challenge and a balance like hey man it's not that much different it's the same right. application trigger and sights grip and all that stuff just you know it's a secondary thing speed is a byproduct of everything else right. so that's why it was a good thing for me in, in my career in terms of that to see things differently and um, in a higher a much higher level yeah well, I don't know if you faced that JJ but uh, when you turn from open and we went both of us to production. A lot of people they were like, "Hey, those guys are open shooters. They're, they're not going to do good in any any good in yeah, production." That. And that was a really good challenge just to, to prove just that alone between both of us, but also yeah. to the other shooters. Just that, all right, we're shooters, right? For all. And that was uh, the main challenge for. Yeah. So what is the what is the biggest challenge when you guys went from that, you know, the dot, the, the open, and to, to, to an iron side of gun in competition? Well, don't forget the uh, you know the 29 minute round bags right. that you could beat a big. That's true. That's USPC production. 10 right. rounds is like shooting singles. Here. Right, 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 low, 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 low. And also the points because you were shooting major, yeah. you were back shooting to minor, minor, and yeah. you right. had to be more accuracy right. oriented. I mean, exactly. Not that it means. Right. You know. Well, you shot production several, several oh times. Yeah, you yeah. know what it is. Yeah, huh? it's. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you find it a challenge to go from an open gun, or, what, or because you, I mean, you've been shooting iron sight gun? Yeah, well, too, I, so. I was fortunate enough to have always have shot iron sights and open and switch it back and forth. But um, I think the biggest challenge was going from target focus to sight fo uh, focus. Yeah. That was really the biggest challenge because from going from you think it's easy then you start engaging multiple targets and then you find yourself I know back to the natural eye target focus because you know shooting open you look yep. through the dot and look through the sights and all that but then after a while really the biggest hurdle after that was learning the game yeah the game is so different and yeah. in open we shoot well besides Eric you know Eric would take him as an exception but everyone else we shoot at 90 95 percent we try to push ourselves to that edge you don't want to shoot 100 but sometimes you want right. to yeah and then to and then a mess a pickup shot here and there is a huge deal. Where in production, you're allowed to kind of make a little bit of mistake as long as you get your hits. Exactly. That's true. Does that make sense? Like you just gotta make sure you got better points, and you you don't worry so much about the time. It's just how you execute the plan as smoothly as possible. Open right. it was as, as smoothly but as fast as you can without making that mistake. With one little hiccup. Golly, it was such a tight exactly. match up there. Yeah. A pickup shot is a half a second. Everyone was pouncing on that, and you made that one mistake. Production, yeah. it wasn't bad because you could make it up on a run or something. Yeah, production, the hit factor is, is usually mm. what? Five, yeah. four, yeah. five, six. When they open, you're about in the factor of 10. So mm. every half second or second, you know, it's like wow. it's a huge deal. Yeah, with production is definitely a lot more. It's, it takes more to, to take extra time to make sure you get your alphas as opposed to dropping Charlie's Delta, losing points, and even sure. though you shoot it faster, right. now you're not, you don't have as much points to divide that time into, yep. and you actually end up slower That's, or worse yeah. point-wise than someone that took their time and got all their alphas. So let me ask you all something, all the same question. What what do you think separates the the, the, the best shooters from the pack? 250,000 rounds. Yeah. I would agree sure. with that. Agree 250, so in other words, if customized special Yeah, the special ammo. special <laughs> ammo. I'm gonna say special ammo. So you're saying if you're you gotta the bottom one is the work. <laughs> it, it's just more work, do better. Well, you know when I started, uh, when Hamscore picked me up in uh, ninety nine, uh, you know, they 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 invested on me in yep. a certain way, but I didn't have that amount of money. I mean, amount of money and amount right. of bullets, let's say, into the budget. So, right. uh, how to explain? I had to make the to make that deal happen to get the Wall Street title to 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 be able to manage. Hey, I can do more. And of course, at a certain point, 
doing more rounds, it's like it's like writing or reading for you. You know, it's just the things become normal. Yes. So for me, become like shooting is like a normal thing. So shooting a 500 rounds. Yes. Uh, it's nothing. Shooting a thousand, still nothing. Yeah. When I come to 1,500, 2,000, then I, I feel that Got that's, it. you know, over. Got it. But, so so yeah. if, you're, if you're training in a training session, you'll shoot 500 rounds, give or take. Yeah, exactly. 500 rounds, 45 minutes. And how many drills will you shoot? Would you, will you, will you do I some do standard drills. No drills? No drills. So you'll do what? Everything is built up in my brain. Okay. Just a, just a bunch of targets all around. Yep. And I just shoot them differently. Just I build up the whole thing. Hard, is it, you know, as difficult as it, as it, you know, try it to can be. It difficult, not yeah. necessarily difficult or easy, but right. difficult for myself. Like right. Ozing, for example, Ozing stage right. for me it's right. hard. I don't like that. Okay. I'm always aiming. So even a two-year target, I'm pointing it. I mean, I'm pointing and aiming. Yeah. So for me that's hard, for example. But I can have like 50 yards target, but I don't build any structure. So everything is like you know brain, you know brain built, so okay. I can save the time. That's very interesting. What about you? You guys do the same thing, or? No, as far as drills. When you train, are, when you train, are you, are you setting up a single drill and doing a drill? Or are you setting up a, a, like a stage, or, or do you use matches for your practice sessions? I actually, um, what, I, what, what I do is I actually look ahead of time of um, certain things in matches. When it, when it comes close to matches, I look at the stages, and I'll take, I'll break down certain things that I know I'm weak at, or yep. I know that I do not like, and I'll focus on those kind of target um, designs and stuff like that. And I'll, I'll do it more at distance, because um, like Eric, I don't. Do, I don't like speed shooting. I don't yeah. have a fast trigger finger, so I try to focus more on my transition and all that stuff. And I'll try to bring in once in a while a target, literally at five yards, to, to try to see if I can shoot it faster than I normally can. Mm. Um, that wasn't with the open, with the production, and I had the opportunity to practice with you several times now. And literally, like you said, 500 rounds in 45 minutes, it flies by that much. I think we did what a thousand or mm. two thousand in two hours at one time in Vegas or something like that. It was. It was um it was literally what we did was we just set up a whole bunch of targets, we taped out anything that went outside the A zone, yep. and we, the A zone was just getting tore up, and it was t uh, it was alpha focus, and it was a lot of um many things in there like changing gears, shooting close target to far target to partial target. Of, uh, rules that say we have you have to go here for this number of rounds or number of targets. Right. You go there, you do this position at this okay. at this point. So yeah. without any structure, we just build it up in the brain. So. And but, but and bottom it line, yeah, it, it worked. It absolutely did. Because without that, I wouldn't have had that much confidence of going into my first national with the production division. Yep. And um, what really it came down to is you realize we do all these fancy things, right? But then we, we figured out it's what heavy. Yeah, it's basics. We do a lot of fa fancy things, but it looks fancy. But it really, it's like we're still trying to just get a good sight picture, a good trigger yep. squeeze right. on every single one of them in a different, taking away your foundation essentially, like your solid, straight up shooting stance, right. moving into that, that dynamic, more fluid environment. Yep. So it's pretty it was really neat and I appreciate that he always invites me for those kind of sessions it, it's always an honor man even he's I hate him yeah. as much as I do I love him and no one not many people knows but love, he's one of my good hate. friends yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you from the first bullet of the stage and then uh, uh, okay. after we go for dinner is good except for a world shoot 2011 until the last day you hated me until the last day you started liking me again <laughs> You son of a gun. <laughs> so Athena, how do you find something that uh, you need to work on? Like, how do, you, how do you discover where your weak points are in your shooting? Well, I just have to be really honest with myself and admit that, you know, I am weak in certain areas. Mm -hmm. And I actually will go to the range and work on that. Like, um, for example, when the first, uh, the Ipsos targets came out, the meter shape ones, I could not hit that to save my life, or I could oh, not yeah, find the stack. Weird. This was back in the early 90s, yeah. so I told my dad, let's buy, like, a Right. Bunch of these, and that's all I shot. I hated it, and then I shot a shot until I got better. So it's, it's similar, you know, similar um, concept. So if I don't like shooting strong end, or like shooting weak end, I have to kind of just suck it up and yeah. force myself to go out there and work mm. on that. So Interesting. Like, okay. What about you? Are you practicing yeah. all three guns every time, or are you just going and just working on the handgun one time, working on the rifle the next time, working on the shotgun, or? So. Um, it, it kind of just really depends on where what I feel like I need to work on, and, yep. and even then, with, with each gun, each gun has its own individual part that is right. difficult. Right. You know, uh, shooting a rifle at close range targets, really most of the difficult part is just uh, getting a fast transition and snapping it to the target, not yep. overshooting your target or undershooting it. Right. Um, so with rifle. Long range is really where a lot of people get killed. Right. If you have four long range targets, you can't sit there and take That's 14 right. shots at it. You've got to be able to take four, maybe five to get your hits and move on. Right. Um, with shotgun, 
loading that thing. Practice and load. It's, it's the hardest thing. I mean, I'm, I used to be a guitar player back in the day. I have great finger dexterity. I can't figure out how to load a shotgun in under six seconds to save my life with eight shells, you know? So when I'm at home and I'm bored, there it goes. I put on my belt, put my dummy shells on, pull yeah. out my shotgun, and I just sit there until my fingers start bleeding. There you like, go. Are you a four yeah. shell loader? With the, with the, yeah, I do yeah. the four shell we can load. Yeah. And uh, you know, I've tried, I've tried the load two and stuff. Yeah. I just kind of feel that uh, for me, it's it's almost a, a draw between having to completely mount the shotgun, grab the yeah. shells, load them, yeah. and then unmount it, put it back right, on the right. shoulder. Yeah. That transition time is is actually longer for me than just dropping down, loading them, and then bringing them back up. Yeah. So, and then of course handgun, I think is just probably, it's the most difficult weapon to master. Yeah. If you don't shoot a handgun for six months and try and go out and shoot at the same level you were six months ago, yeah. you're gonna be sadly disappointed in your performance. You know what, I have a question. John, you had a hell of a year last year. You came out of nowhere, it seemed like no one really saw it coming. And you just started tearing down and burning down some stages, started winning and started racking up some real legitimate wins. Did the fancy pants have something to do with this? Yeah. <laughs> so, so I think that the, you know maybe the ROs get a little confused and they read the time wrong because they're seeing dots and spots and yeah. stuff and it actually said 82 and they call it out as 28. Um, no, actually I, I think you know the, the purpose of the pants initially was uh, one way of kind of getting it some attention. Sure. But the other aspect of it was uh, once I started deciding like hey you know competitive shooting is something I really enjoy doing and I want to become extremely well at it. I want to I want to progress in and I want to become one of the top shooters. Uh, whenever I'd go out to matches and say I'd go out and shoot a stage and I'd have a mental error or I had a miss or something like that that I didn't see. Yep. Well now I'm mad at myself. And instead of just dropping it there, clearing my head and going to the next stage and start with clean slate, I'd carry it with me to the next stage yep. where I make another mental error. Now I'm now I'm even more mad because I've made an error in the last stage and messed up this stage. So I just started being too hard on myself. So I started wearing the pants because I, I realized that I'm out there to have fun. That's why I started shooting competitively in the first place. So anytime I start getting too hard on myself, I just have to look down look and think, pants. how serious can I really be taking this, you know? Like, yeah. Plus, uh, and on top of that, you always have people coming up and they're always making comments about my pants and saying, you know, where'd you get those? Constant reminder. You know, yeah, so it's, it's, it, they get my mind off of things. Yeah. So if I had a bad run, they get my mind off of it, I get back in a positive mood. If I had a terrific run, they get my mind off of it and I get focused back on the next stage because everyone knows it's not the shot that you took, it's the next shot you're gonna take that counts. Absolutely. You start the fancy pants revolution, man. I'm, I'm trying, trying. Well, uh, I right just here. don't put it this for the team. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new team. <laughs> <laughs> There's something actually we didn't speak because we spoke a lot about production, uh, but we didn't spoke about you guys for the world shoot, uh, which is basically who's going to be your competitors. Yeah. Yes. We, we spoke. We, we know for us, but yeah. you guys, you, you're going to shoot open. You're going to shoot uh, standard division. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, the U.S. Limited uh, Ipsic Standard Division. I mean, there. That's probably you know. I mean, production is strong too, but it's, man, that's the strongest field. That's an strong incredibly field. strong field. So, you know, you're going to have all the best shooters. I'm, I'm going to guess that, you know, you know, Manny and Shannon are, the, and that's their home range. That's their home turf. They're going to be training like crazy. They're going to be down there. They're going to get what's going on. Um, I don't know if Phil Strader will shoot the match, but he's obviously a good shooter. You know, I think uh, Robbie's going to be shooting the classic single sack division, whatever yep. that's called. That's so, yep. so I don't have to worry as much about him, but man, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Dave. That's a great question. I don't I know. Yeah, I know Bob Vogel shooting standard too. Yeah, and Dave's yeah. Yeah. shooting standard, yeah. I guess. And those guys are freaks. But you guys are just, uh, well, for now, you're just speaking about the U.S. guys, right. but you, are what? you not afraid about something well, else outside the U.S.? I, or, I am, but I don't know them. I, 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 I am, but I don't know them. I know We're it's America, but still, I'm still a bit European, yeah. so. No one, no one else matters. You gotta that. remember. No one else matters. The only order they know is Eric, unfortunately. That's right. That's exactly right. The rest of the world use metric, and then you come to America, we use pounds, and you're like, I don't know how many kilograms that is. I had the problem yesterday for the steak at the steakhouse. You know, you said, what, the smallest steak we have here is like uh, 20, 20 ounces, 25 ounces. ounces. Yeah. I said, what, how much is that, 25 ounces? I started thinking, what, half a kilo? No, it's too much. <laughs> well, like, yeah. you know, I've talked to people sometimes, and you know, how much do you weigh? And they're like, oh, 12 stones. And I'm like, and how much does each stone weigh? Right, like, I have, right. I, I don't know, I'm so. 12 stones, what the hell is that? Yeah, exactly, I actually had to like Google it, like, right there. Problem. And to this day, I can't remember what it is. <laughs> do, you, what, what, do you know what a stone is? No, no, no. no a I, stone yeah. is a stone for me. It's a piece of rock you throw. Right, it's yeah. something yeah. I put on a target stand exactly. to keep it from blowing over. <laughs> so all these stones are of three gun too, because you do three gun. I started last year. I had a lot of fun. Josh is three gun. Any plans to shoot three gun? 
soon, maybe after the world. Yeah, when we're getting old. <laughs> <laughs> See, our technique is this is the strategy. <laughs> Me and Eric. Did he just call us old? Listen, listen, oh. hey, listen. No, no when we, no, when no, we, no, no, no. when we get old. When we are getting old. Don't get a mistake. We're Don't get some panties in a bunch. I think I am the grand old man on the team right now, aren't I? Possibly. Yes, yes. And that's, Thanks. yes. We'll call no, you daddy. No, daddy. No, we're not going to deny daddy. that. But anyway, the strategy for me and Eric. <laughs> what you say? Dude. Papa arm score. <laughs> Back handy, boy. The, stra the strategy with me and Eric is we're going to, we're going to let you guys beat up your knees carrying all these heavy lugs, run up and down possibly a thousand stages. So by the time we get in there, fresh knees, <laughs> fresh ankle, fresh back. We're going to be the young bucks. Yeah. Oh, the young we're going to tear it senior. up. When you're going to be still on your rifle like this, yeah. walking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the strategy for now. Okay. No, I'm starting to shoot rifle now. Um, it's going to be my first year, so I'm going to try. You got some awesome rifles. Yeah. Yeah. Is doing it pretty big in Europe? <laughs> really big for now. Nordic countries are really into rifles. Uh, I would say the eastern thousand countries into shotgun. Oh, so it's one gun. One gun. Yeah, it's pretty much for a one gun thing now. But uh, we expect to. I hope that for my country in France, we can get the shotgun pretty soon. We still now not a lot shoot shotgun, but they just yep. opened the low for the rifles. So we'll start rifle. I'll do a couple of matches this year rifle just to try out. I have to you know to learn it and. Uh, and start so it's pretty strict in France. I mean, what's it allowed, is. what's not? It's, it's pretty strict. Uh, we were limited to seven guns before, now wow. we're up to 12, mm -hmm. which is a little bit better. Open to uh, pistols and rifles, so it's pretty decent. We have like uh, forbidden pistol, I mean, forbidden firearms with that, that nobody can touch. Huh. And right. we have, like I said, the sport firearms yep. where we can be. So all, all Epsi guns and, uh, and mm -hmm. rifle will fit into the, the, that sport gun list. Mm -hmm. What about Steel Challenge, dude? Are you shooting Steel Challenge this year? Again, I gotta be smart about allocating my time and um, expenses on um, on these matches. Um, Steel Challenge may not fit the schedule this year because yeah. it's very time consuming. Yeah. It's a quick little run up, but it's a lot of training yes. and thousands of rounds like leading. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you in the uh, production. I might go in open for Steel Challenge, oh. but only if he's not coming. If he's coming, forget about it. I'm already oh. like. A, He's away. running from you? No, Steel well, Challenge? production. Oh, well, he's new in Steel Challenge. So he's not, he hasn't thing. figured it out yeah, yet but if completely. If you're shooting open and he sticks to production, then you guys aren't even. No, we both shoot production and open. Exactly. So that's that's you, shoot, you can shoot the yeah. yeah. I actually don't oh, okay. oh, That's okay. what me and him, one, one year, I'll we shoot, shot over 1,500. In production. We've shot 1,500 rounds each per person, right? Yeah. And I think almost. Eight to ten thousand rounds. We got to Florida in four days. and the Hamsko sent the ammos. Everything was waiting to us in the hotel. <laughs> they gave us the car thing. We had to carry all the ammos to the car. No, you had to carry it. <laughs> remember? Like a mess. <laughs> you had to carry it, remember? I thought that was gonna work for me that you were gonna be absolutely sore, but no. You did alright. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so I'm not gonna I'm probably I don't have that in plans right now. Um, I don't have time to switch gears that much. And that time I think I have um, I have a lot of classes booked in terms of the government stuff, my yep. government work, and um, I advance courses for instructors. And so I figured, uh, you know, they probably don't want me to leave that much anyway. And nationals being five days, world shoot being five days, that's 80 hours yeah. alone right there. That's so a long time. I, I'm, I'm still short of my hours because of all these other trips that I do. So, mm. yeah. So other than world shoot, what 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 match are you guys most looking forward to this year? If you had to pick one, other, other than world, world shoot, but if there was one match you were going to look forward to shooting this year, which national match would it be? Nationals, yeah. Nationals. Nationals. I'd say so, yeah. But there's some really good area matches here. Nationals. I'm not sure I'm going to come to national guys. It's like two weeks before the world. Yeah. And for me, it's like six weeks, six weeks trip. I mean. It's too much. I'll be okay. Try. I know. I know. I'll be eating burgers every day and yeah. work out. I'll like be. I'll come to the Wall Street like a big fat boy. Bye -bye. That's what he that's, wants. That's okay. That's not my problem. That's I know. <laughs> I guess that. <laughs> High five. <laughs> Don't forget it. <laughs> and you, Mr. Workout Machine. I, I recently saw a video that you posted of doing crossfit Just one? with shooting. Forget it's not only one. It's a ton of it. Right. It's like, hey, look what I did today. One hand <laughs> pull up. Hey. One hand and pull up up a mountain <laughs> from Mount yeah. Rushmore's nose. And shooting we can. My mentor over here, Mike, really got me into the whole 
um, what is that, a program workout design, functional fitness. Before I used to just work out to have a beach body. <laughs> Didn't care what it was, bench press every day, yeah, biceps yeah. every day. That was, Girl, hell yeah, this is really no. But then, you know, he got me into this whole defend yourself, functional fitness, and be in shape for a reason. And, and that was ever since then, it just kind of carried on from one to the next to the next. Many people don't know, but me and Mike have known each other for over, well, Man, like, a lot of years, since, years, so, good lord. Know, very, very long oh, yeah. time. And uh, we've known each other through work environment, and we've known each other through the- Certain TV the show? Dark, uh, the dark, uh, TV Later show, on. Yeah, Certain TV true. show. <laughs> so professional and uh, not professional manner. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, but um, yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm, I'm all addicted to it. I get to work out every day, so I don't get to shoot every day, so I use that. Um, the, the ability to be able to work out as hopefully and as an advantage on, on field courses and stuff like that. Whenever I see a field course, whenever it's some kind of tough or a sprint, I always have a sense of confidence on it that I have an advantage on that and then I, I get to well, just take my time a little about, bit. You know, running here, getting there, all you have to worry about is you know, shooting, getting sure, points. Sure, that's it. There. Keeps it simple, right? Yeah. yeah. Less things to worry about. That's like, every time I watch a video, I'm like, Oh, I'm so out of shape. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not, it's not meant for that. Gym. It's supposed to be meant for, you know, I, motivate so you a little gym. bit. I, I, go, I hate going to the gym. Everything there is so heavy. <laughs> yeah. And I didn't you post it, by the way. Don't uh, go to the gym then. Just right. like me. Just I don't get go tired walking from my apartment just to my watch car. TV and say, hey, I look good. He buys a video, six minute ab, no, seven minute ab. <laughs> yeah. And watch, then he puts it on the video. and just, just watches watch it. He just flies forward, so it only takes two minutes. All right, folks, I guess that's it. Uh, beyond the range, you, you heard it from the experts here at Team Armscore. You'll see us on the circuit this year, hopefully at a match or a training event or whatever else. Guys, good luck to you. Gal, good luck to you. Thanks. Shoot well. I hope we win lots of stuff for the team and uh, kick butt, take that's names. Team win. And that's personally, it. I think that I'm going to be voting for you at the World oh, Shoot. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Slippery slope, but we're going to do it. <laughs>